us. We're doing it. Biceps. Silent Steve. Mean Steve. Super Steve. Quiet Steve. Stonewall Steve. Insert something here, Steve. What else you got? What's your name? Toro. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little side note on Steve. At some point this summer, we brought up the idea that maybe Steve was an android. Oh, no. That's not... Uh, maybe. Steve is actually an android. He, he could be an android. We have not seen the seam yet, but we're waiting for he's it. He's the strong silent type that we've discussed before. He doesn't like the beach. He doesn't like the sand. He doesn't like to get wet. doesn't like the sun. And I, my theory is that he's an android. Yeah. And the volume button is broken. Right. He's got to clean his circuits off. Oh, lies. They're all lies. <laughs> Alright, so we brought Steve back again today because we are doing beers from Miss Pillion River Brewery in Milford, Delaware. And that's again why we have Steve back with us today because Steve and I are both Milfordians from Milford. If you have not been to Milford, there's, not, you're not missing a whole lot. It's a bustling metropolis. Lots to that's, do there. He's putting way too much into it. Right? They, they have, have a brewery. They have a Walmart. And a Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's a good Walmart though. It is a good Walmart. Not like We're talking about the freaking Walmart and Mercopia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the two beers that we have for you today are Holy Crap, which Holy is an Imperial God. Red. The picture is a zombie dinosaur. Could be a zombie dinosaur. Yeah. And uh, that would also make me say Holy Crap. Yeah. And Space Otter, it's an American IPA. So they have an awesome picture of an otter in a space. Suit. One thing I got to say about Miss Pillion River is they are on point with their artwork. <laughs> their cans are awesome. Yeah. I love their cans. And and the names of the beers that they come up with. Like so far we've we've seen Not Today Satan, the Reach Around IPA, right you. the Black Tie IPA. We have not tried the Black Tie yet. And Holy Crap and Space Otter. So Holy freaking crap. Right. I, I'm enjoying the naming that they Yeah, they're killing it. You guys are doing a great job. Yeah, keep it up. All right, so Lou's going to talk a little bit about Space Otter. So the Space Otter is a 5% American pale ale, so it's not as much hop forward. It's a little more balanced. Um, they also brewed it with a lot of citrus and apricots. Apricots, apricots, how do we say that? Tomato. It's like a tomato, tomato, tomato. potato, potato thing. Um, and melon. Melons. And then I'm going to discuss Holy Crap. Holy Crap! Holy Crap. Holy Crap. Uh, Holy Crap is an Imperial Red. It's a 9 percenter. Wow. So, yeah, the alcohol percentage is, is up there. Yeah, Holy Crap. And uh, interesting fact about this, they made it by accident. They actually were mixing different beers together. And they came up with this initially, and they were like, Holy Crap, we kind of <laughs> like this. But then, here's the problem. They lost the recipes. Oh, that's awful. Right. So they had to dig for like a couple months to find the recipe, and then when they finally did, they were like, all right, let's put this out there and see what people think. Holy crap! Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, so we're going to do a little tasting. We're going to start with Space Otter first. Lou, go ahead. Cheers. Cheers. What do we think? Well, it's an IPA. But yeah, it's definitely not as hot forward, so uh, you do get a little bit more of that balance, so it doesn't hit you in the face with all of its hops. A little bit of citrus too, right? A little bit of citrus. I, I can actually taste a bit of the mango, or not mango, melon. Melon. Yeah, I kind of get that melon taste too. It's like an aftertaste. Not bad. All right, Steve. In the slightest of sips. And what do you think? All right, so Steve's coming right out. <laughs> right out with the number. With his hot meter, uh, he says a six. Lou, what would you say your hot meter is on this? I'm not an IPA guy. I want to give it a five. Okay. Just maintain uh, unbiased opinions. 
Based on the other IPAs that I've had of theirs, I would not ra- rank Space Otter quite as high as like a Not, not Today, Today Satan, Satan was a lot better than this Or one. the Reach Around. Not Today Satan, again, is like one of my favorite IPAs, like especially one of my favorite local ones. Not Today Satan. Right. So I would not put this today. probably at like the five and a half range if I were going to put it on the hot beater. All right. And then. Holy crap. Let's go with Holy Crap. Let me say Holy Crap. I'm going to be really disappointed. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> That's an interesting flavor. <laughs> Go for it. I don't know. Full of questions today, this guy. That is a very weird tasting beer. Alright, what's your hot meter? <laughs> Steve just jumps right out there with it and gives us the two. <laughs> That's two. Two. One, two. Oh. And, uh, that's, you know, it's pretty direct with how he feels yeah, about yeah. it. Usually Steve can't really make up his mind too much, but Steve knew exactly where he was going right. with that one. I'm trying to think of words to describe how that tastes. Right. It tastes... You ever have, a, like, a feeling that you, like, look at something and you just know how it tastes? Right. It tastes brown. Like, I... Like... It's, it's, it's a brown taste. It's a brown taste. Like... Yum. I kind of almost feel like there's like a cinnamon flavor to it, and okay. I feel like that's not right, but it's it's weird. Okay. All right, weird people, weird. We've been told wow. by the YouTube wor- world that we need to expand our get a, vocabulary. Yeah, our vocabulary needs to step it up a notch. All right, so my uh, thinking behind this is it's, uh, like I said, I really like reds. I was kind of su- surprised a little bit that I didn't like this. It's an imperial red. I think maybe they have gone outside the box and mis- mixed two things that maybe shouldn't have gone together. I feel like it almost had like almost a vinegary flavor. I can I can see that. So, but the can's badass at least. Right. Their their can is great. Um, the You're beer not as great. Maybe not so much. So <laughs> I would be in the the two range also. I think our most famous word is bitter. 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 You put a lot of emphasis on your T's and bitter. What is your hot beer? I'm going to put that like a four, but for a different reason other than the Space Otter. I have no idea how to describe that beer. I'm, tr- I'm still trying to figure it out. It's a lot of aftertaste. It is a lot of aftertaste. We've been here before with Miss Pillion River Brewery. I would rate a lot of their other beers much higher than... Like they're than not today saying it's like... A, it's a good, it's a good yeah. IPA, and I don't like IPAs. Right, but and Steve liked the Space Otter. Um, you know, we're right in that mid range with it, so they they do have some good beers. So don't let uh, the holy crap scare you away from Mr. Pillion. We we really like them. We like a lot of their beers. We obviously like their artwork and their names. So and apparently their bathrooms, which we still haven't seen yet. Right, their bathrooms are killer. I, I need to see this bathroom. Like it's right. gonna haunt me until I see this bathroom. So that's our review for today. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Yeah, support your local out. brewery. We support ours. This is only a couple minutes up the road from us. Uh, we'll probably have Steve back at some point. Who doesn't love Steve? Look at him. He's so adorable. All right, that's all we got for our show today. And if you're going to binge on anything, binge on Brutopia. If you're going to binge on anything, make sure you're binging on Brutopia and Steve. Binge on Steve. Binge on, binge on Steve. Hashtag binge on Steve. That's an episode. Agenda.